Welcome back. So in this lesson, we're going to be adding some custom text. So let's just twiddle up these modifiers here on our ring layer. And now let's add some text. So let's switch over to top view. Um, I'm just going to hit seven on my numpad and then do shift A to add something. But we're going to do text. So notice there right in the center, there is text. So I just hit period on the numpad to kind of zoom in there. And if you hit tab, we'll go into edit mode and notice that there is this little box here. And that's kind of like a, uh, you know, when anytime you're trying to write some text, so just hit backspace on your keyboard and you can delete that. And let's just type in custom text and then hit tab to go back to object mode. And there we go, we've got some custom text. But now, if you kind of look at it, it's just really flat. You know, there's no geometry, it's just like a piece of paper. And notice that since we're on the text layer here, there's a new tab that's appeared. It looks like a little lowercase a, and that is giving you a lot of control over your, your text here. And most people go in and add geometry. You know, you can go here and under the geometry tab and extrude the text. So notice if I look kind of from the side like that and you add some geometry with the extrude, it will actually extrude this text in both directions. And that's one way to do it. But usually what I do, um, I'll show you another way and just hit zero just to set that back. What I do is go into the modifier so make sure you're on your text layer, then do add modifier, and we're gonna use solidify. And notice something kind of happened. It's got a little thicker, but we can thicken it up. So let's just type in for the thickness. I'll kind of drag it out here so we can see. For thickness, let's click in there and put 0.2. There we go. So we can always go back and change that anytime we want. Maybe even do some even thickness. And now we've got some text, but we need to be able to wrap this text around our ring. And with Blender, you can do that very, very easily. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna close up the studio just to give us a little bit more room here. Uh, but we're going to, on our text layer, add another modifier called the curve. So go ahead and click on curve. And notice that it's kind of got this red color. So that's kind of saying like something's not right. So always be on the lookout. You know, if you got some red in your modifier, yeah, there's something's not right inside of that modifier. So the issue is we need some type of object or vertex group for this, this modifier to actually work. It's kind of like looking for something, but there's nothing there uh, for it to do anything. So let's fix that. So we need to give this modifier something to kind of wrap around. So just go back to your 3D viewer and do shift A, and we're going to do a curve circle. And notice we've got this tiny little circle right here, which is great. And so let's go back to our text layer. And now if we click an object, we've got our Bezier circle. So click on that and look what happened. Our text is actually wrapping around this Bezier circle. So let's just click on that little circle. It's kind of hard to see there, but that little circle and just hit S and scale it on up. And I'm gonna hit seven on my numpad to go to kind of top orthographic. That way I can really see, you know, how far I need to scale this. So let's just scale it about as, you know, on the outermost part of our ring. Maybe it'll just stick out just a little bit right there. And notice now our text is right down here, just popping out. And that's actually pretty cool too. You could, uh, you know, even scale it down and have just text popping out of the top of a ring, that could be cool. But I'm gonna show you another way uh, to kind of flatten this text out and put it on the side of your ring, kind of flat. So to do that, make sure you have your text selected and we're going to hit R to rotate and then hit X and then type nine zero for 90 degrees. But notice it worked kind of, but it's kind of facing the wrong direction. So an easy way to flip that is to click on your Bezier curve, go into edit mode, and on the segments, just say switch directions. And it actually flipped to the other side. 
of our ring. So let's just go back into object mode, kind of swing around here. Or you could just click on your text and hit period on the numpad, and there it is. So it's actually inside of our ring. So all we need to do is click your Bezier curve and just scale it up until it kind of interacts with uh, the ring there. And that's looking pretty cool, but you know, this ring already is pretty tiny. If we kind of take a step back and look, it's extremely small and this text is even tinier. So we really need to increase the size. So just click on your text, hit S and just scale that up to your heart's desire. I'm going to, I'm going to go pretty large just because the, the ring is so small. So it's okay if it, if it pops up the top, you know, you could have it a ring that looks kind of like this, but I'm going to kind of center it up. So let's hit G and Z and just kind of place it there. I'm going to type one to go to the front view. And that way I can really see, you know, if this is even, so I'll hit G and Z, you know, and just tweak it ever so slightly, maybe even increase the scale even more and then hit G and Z and kind of just fit it right in there. And that's looking pretty cool. Um, you know, it's sticking out just a little bit. So I could even go into my solidify and increase it. Notice that the, it's actually going inside of the ring. You can see, you know, if I wanted to pop it out, whoa, too much. But, um, you know, we can kind of flip that with the offset here. So we could take it to, you know, one or even just zero. And that will kind of, you know, let us be able to scale in both directions. So, you know, let the uh, the text stick out as far as you want in there. But the, the main goal is you want some of the text inside of the ring. Because when we go to Boolean these together or through a difference Boolean, um, either way, if we add or subtract, you want there to be some geometry in between the text and the ring so that they can kind of marry together and uh, become one. So you should be very proud of yourself if you've made it this far. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a customizable workflow when dealing with text because in Blender, text is a little, uh, you know, you have to do a little bit of extra steps. So let's go ahead and jump into the next video and we will, uh, you know, do a custom text workflow.